By the way, it's time to start making dinner and we're going to add, make beetroot falafel with feta, feta cheese cream. And I'm getting, as always, the recipe from this magazine. Let's go, people. So this recipe said that we should boil and grate uh, 400 grams of beets. And I bought them already boiled and co cooled. So I'm going to get, this is 500 grams and I'm going to get 400 grams and I'm going to grate them. And then you're supposed to squeeze out the liquid. And uh, I'm just showing you squeezing out. So that's what's going to happen. I'm not going to grate them. I'm going to... I could grate them, you know. So I added a grater to my kitchen appliance. <laughs> I can't remember the name of this. So uh, this would be much less messy than by doing it by hand. And now I will put this into a sieve and use a spatula to sort of draw out all the liquid. And while this is drip, drip, dripping away, maybe I should put salt on it. I usually draw salt. Anyway, I will be making the feta cream. So um, I'm gonna <laughs> do that right now. In a jar, you add 50 grams of Greek style feta cheese. This one is from 200 grams, so about a fourth of this. And then you mash this up using a, yeah, a fork will do. And when it is mashed, you add one tablespoon of lemon juice, two deciliters of vegan uh, yogurt. And I did tell you that that feta cheese was vegan, right? Because everything I do is vegan. About to taste quite a lot of salt and quite a lot of pepper this was sort of the feta cheese sort of disappeared i only taste mostly taste the lemon juice now it's back to the vegan falafel you add two units or cans of chickpeas into a food processor and then you add one roughly chopped uh, red onion and blitz away And then you add three finely grated garlic cloves, or as I say, lots and lots of garlic cloves because they're so small. Then you add the beetroot. Looks almost like liver now. And then you blitz away. And then you add half a teaspoon of cornstarch, and that is what's going to keep it all together. And half a teaspoon of coriander and half a teaspoon of cumin. That's it. No, well, salt. So I better start frying those damned falafels, right? Oh. It's a bit like frying porridge. So I concocted a little hack on my own, because since they are sort of like frying porridge, they're sort of really wet. I, and I'm heating the oven to make the, uh, to heat the pita breads and put them in here. So hopefully they will dry out. Yes, I am intelligent. Here we are. How did you like it? I loved it. Good. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and family and lovers how fantastic I am and tell them to watch me as well.